Hey everyone, it's been a week. I am absolutely exhausted. It's been a while since I've had a video up and in my last vlog I talked about basically why I was going to have to take a break from making content and it was because I was working so many hours. I'm going to talk about today how I handled it, what things came up during that period of time and this is going to be basically just a sit down video i don't have any content filmed because i've been just too busy to vlog and when i haven't been too busy to vlog i've been basically just too tired to vlog it for the biggest and longest days it was basically get up in the morning go to the place I was going to be at for the entire day because they were 12 hour shifts and then come home and go straight to bed because I had to repeat it the very next day. The first thing is basically where was I? So as I mentioned, I have started a new chapter basically in my life. To protect my privacy, I'm not going to talk about where I work or what I do, but I have a job and one is permanent and one was temporary. So the temporary one consisted of 12 hour days for four days. It was close to about 70 some hours between the 10th and the last Friday, whatever that was. I'm so messed up on days now because I'm out of my filming routine. Along with that, having to work so many days in a row, it just throws me off because I just go, okay, this is the day and the computer tells me the date basically so I am not great on dates right now basically I know that it's Monday and yes I'm filming this video extremely late because this is the first time I really had to do any filming and basically my first actual day of rest which I'm not really resting because I'm still working but this I don't get paid for so it doesn't feel like work it's basically a hobby I'm actually really thankful for where I was in my menstrual cycle during this craziness because had it been right now I don't know I would have handled it well so as I'm filming this video I am feeling migraine symptoms and actually yesterday I was working too and I woke up and was like oh no you can feel that initial feeling that you get when you first start getting a migraine and I'm like, I really hope that this isn't gonna interfere too much with my day. Thankfully, it seemed to ease off when I got to work. Now, I definitely was having trouble with some things at work because my brain just wasn't processing things, right? And I don't know if it was because I was tired because I really was at the point yesterday where I'm just like, I just need a couple days to myself. Now yesterday it was just the feeling in the head like my eyes starting to feel a little bit of pressure and all of that. I had a little bit of tinnitus in my ears so like if I'm busy and focus on something else it's completely ignorable. So it was and there wasn't really any pain. It's when I start to get the dizziness that things got get iffy and I was starting to feel that yesterday before I had to go to work and I'm like oh no and I was fine it was a relatively short shift so I was done quite early but I am very very happy that I have a migraine preventative because although it didn't necessarily prevent it completely it made it so that it wasn't as bad and I could still do whatever I needed to do around that the biggest chunk I think I want to spend my time on is talking about the reason why I'm here, why I'm able to do all of this, and that's because of my needle. So this migraine preventative medication at the start, I was so hesitant to try it. It's fairly new. It's a fairly new type of technology. 
it's a type of monoclonal antibody. So you guys have probably heard of monoclonal antibodies in, in the news for other reasons right now, but it's it's similar. So it's a it's an injection. You guys have likely seen it on my shorts where I share that one video where I show what taking my needle is like every month. I'll put that actually right here so you guys can check that out. But basically, that medication is working quite well now. So it did take a little bit to be fairly good, but I think it's just getting better with time. And I'm thankful that I have a means of affording it, but maybe if by sharing my story about how much your life can change with it would help get this medication so that it is more accessible, I would feel like my channel has done so much, basically. So I want to show, I think, going forward, how much this preventative has changed my life. So I've gone from being almost completely stuck on the couch every single day, barely managing to keep up with a YouTube channel, which I have complete control over, to being able to work again, which is all I've wanted to do. It's not the type of work that I would choose to do, given ideal circumstances, but I do feel like it's a good start to see how well things go and judging where I want to go next. I, I don't know what the next step is, but knowing that I can do a part-time job is a really big confidence boost. With that being said, I want to compare this to how I did last year because last year I also had a temporary job that I had one day where I had to be well enough to work for, it was about, well, it was t scheduled to be 12 hours, but I think by the time we were done, it was close to 13 and a half or 14 hours. And last year, I was kind of starting to get a little bit better, but it wasn't perfect. This was like, the fall of last year. So it's been almost a year now. It took me three days to recover from one 12 hour shift. This September, I did four 12 hour shifts, which is more than a full time work week. 40 hours a week is full time here in Saskatchewan. So 12 times four is 48. So the fact that I could probably do a full time job being on this medication should be an incentive for every political party, no matter if you're left or right, to accept that this could change lives. Although it's not gonna help everyone the same it is, as it is me, maybe you could get more people into the workforce by having this medication available. Just before I end this, I just wanna talk about the transition period when I first started this new job. So I had to rely quite a bit on my over-the-counter medications for pain. I was in a lot of pain and it wasn't my head. It was other muscles in my body. It was quite a bit of muscle pain and it was everywhere that I didn't expect it to be and it made sleeping really difficult. So I did have to rely on that medication it was for about the first three or four shifts, but now I haven't had to take anything again for a while. I may end up relying on this over-the-counter medication depending on how my migraines are, but so far, as long as I'm able to stay busy and occupied, that I'm able to ignore it. I'm sure there will come a day when something interferes with that and I'm not able to completely get away with it but at least for now it's to that point so I'm really happy about that that you know I was able to manage any of the transition issues that I managed all right so that's sort of everything that I want to talk about for this I'm hoping to get into vlogs again for next week Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook because I will be putting out weekly schedules 
for when to expect videos and those schedules will apply to the ones here on YouTube. So I have this week's schedule out now. I posted it yesterday. So that was Sunday the 19th of September. So look for that. It's going to be an actual post as well as an Instagram story. I explained everything in that post as to how it's going to work between juggling videos. Unfortunately, this does mean that there will likely be days where you're seeing multiple videos on a platform. I just can't help that. The schedule I had before I basically took this new step in life was the schedule that I found that minimized that issue 100%, but now that I don't have control over when I can release videos, basically it's going to have to be where some days, unfortunately, there's just multiple videos in a day. As for now, this video is getting already quite long, so I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching and thanks for your patience as I dealt with this busy time in my life. I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoying my content? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming future videos. Bye for now and thanks for watching.